Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. This is your boy, Musa, bringing you that flame like I always do. Continuously, by any means necessary. <laughs> so please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You'll be left in that loop. Every time the boy drop content, shout out to the black YouTube out there, man, that they get it to you straight. No chaser. Uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson, Ticket TV, Kwame Brown, Carcino, man, the league attorney. Oh, Daryl Wisdom, Mr. Palmer. Man, I look up to these YouTube birdies, man. R.I.P. to Kevin Summers, man, because he always kept it real. Kept it real right now, and he lives to this day. But shout out to the black YouTube, even on the female aspect, man. You got Michi X out there doing it big. Sister DD, Pink Book Lessons. Oh, man. Melanie King. Oh, my goodness, man. And like I said, uh, Cynthia G. Cynthia G be bringing it. Oh, man, there's so many worthy YouTubers. And I got to say, what's up with it? And I bow to you all. Man, I'm, I'm up in the city of Nashville, man. There's a lot of things going on in Nashville, you know? Things that I wouldn't be thinking about uh, what's popping, you know, or what would be going on. I remember uh, two years ago, uh, was it two years ago, somebody made a, uh, a comment about something that was supposed to happen in Nashville and then on the day of Christmas <laughs> we get a bomb explosion downtown you know what I'm saying and then everybody was hitting me up on my line like man you predicted the future you predicted the future but no I just read what was on the column on somebody else's article which you can go back on the timeline I believe I put a link in the description box and it happened I mean it is what it is on it I ain't a prophet far from it but man, things are going on at a rapid rate in Nashville, and and I'm not comfortable with it. A lot of people are not comfortable with it. You know, it's talking about we getting threats now in Nashville. You know, it's too much going on. You know, and there's been a few rumors flying around that a threat been made against Nashville ahead of the CMA uh, Fest. Y'all know that's going on from uh, June 5th to the 10th. Dude, this is too much. But it's 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 came from Fox 17, and it reached out to the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department on the subject of Saturday night, and they said they're not aware of the credible threat uh, to any downtown Nashville event. You know what I'm saying? But shit, why go out and put yourself in that in that in that flame like that? Don't be made in a quintessence uh, of, of of terrorism. Don't be don't do that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all that crucial out there. But yeah, the, the CMA Fest run from June 9th to June 12th. Uh, uh, please, please count your blessings and use common sense out there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but check this out. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. This is some crap right here, man. This is some crap. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna get that I'm gonna cook on this. Cause this don't make any sense. But this also happened too. This was two days ago. In Nashville, man, what is up with this shit? Nashville, what is up? Three men arrested for allegedly attempted to uh, of international shipment of stolen rental cars. Three men right here charged. <laughs> you know, by all means necessary, I gotta get these stories out here. These men out here charged of stealing cars, man. Go out and get the shit legally, man. Y'all look, look like some lazy motherfuckers that don't wanna do nothing by the book. It's fucking sad. Fucking sad. <laughs> the three men were arrested Thursday night after allegedly attempted to uh, ship stolen rental car company vehicles overseas. Uh, the police said that the scheme involved the theft of rental car company vehicles for probable shipment overseas led to the arrest of Abdul Alin Aladdin, 34 years old, of Black Jack, Missouri, Rodney Balthazar, 28, of Laurel, Maryland, 
and Islam Jonah, 29, of Woodbridge, Virginia. Now see, these are all foreigners. These ain't nigga niggas. These is foreigners. <laughs> and they are scheming in this motherfucker. You feel me? But it's called. But it's caused though. But 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 they make brothers look bad on them. Ooh, we 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 just out here doing all this and all the above, scheming to get over on everybody. Wrong. <laughs> but police said they recovered uh, four late models SUVs rented from Nashville in an Avis location by all three men who provided fraudulent identifications. And on Thursday evenings, um, the police detectives from the auto theft unit were alerted that a group of personal uh, persons believed responsible for the theft of dozens of rental vehicles naturally had come to Nashville area. Metro Police said uh, one of its nine vehicles fraudulently rented during a 24 hour of a 2022 Chevrolet Equinox SUV went from the Avis location on West End Avenue. Mm. With the help of Avis staff, detectives located the Equinox of the 2400 block of Brick Church Pike, according to the authorities. However, before detectives approached the SUV, it started to drive away as soon as followed by the M uh, MNPD helicopter and parking you know, in Gallatin Road in Madison. Hey, man, you can't run out running them helicopters, man. They gonna get your ass, and I'm glad they got their motherfucking asses too. You hear me? You hear me? But yeah, you know, it's just a lot going on. You gotta count your blessings, man, and we'll be right back. Twice the scare last night. A suspicious backpack caused major evacuations near Broadway. Here's a look at the scene when our crew got there on 3rd Avenue South. Metro Police say that backpack was left inside the bar area at SPL House. Investigating surrounding businesses were evacuated as a precaution. After an inspection, investigators say the bag did not contain anything dangerous, but not a scene you want to see on a Saturday night. You gotta count them. You gotta count them, dog pound. It's, it's messed up out there. You don't know what's going on. But yeah, on, on Third Avenue, um, you know, south between the Mumbling Street and Broadway was closed for a few hours Saturday night. As police investigated reports of an unintended backpack, it's too much going on out there, man. Enjoy your life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, kick it with your family. Go to the liquor store, get yourself a drink, come back home. You know, fuck trying to be out there with monks everybody and be out there with a crowd and then you're going to meet a mass shooter or explosions. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't want that shit. Y'all don't want that shit. The Metro, uh, excuse me, MNPD has this device unit responded to the scene, inspected the backpack, and determined it contained nothing dangerous. All roadways and surrounding businesses have since reopened. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's, that's too much. That's too much, you know what I'm saying, y'all? But at the end of the day, man, you got to count your blessings. Count your blessings, you know what I'm saying? Because you only got one life. Live it to the fullest. Uh, ingest nothing but positive feelings. Uh, let uh, derive. Let let you know when you when you get spiritual motivation. Try to derive instruction from that man because this world will eat you up, especially if you let it. You know, it's just sad. You can't even go get gas even in this high state that it's in by just worrying about some crazy stuff happening. Yeah, this world is coming to an end. You better believe that. You better believe that. But this is your boy Moose. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You'll be left in that little piece of love. Have respect.